Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Subpixel live stream. Today we're going to be playing a little game that Will has been trying so hard to get us on the stream. Will Crosby, are you out there? I'm here! It's me! Hi Will. So what is this game that you've been uh, desperately wanting us to play? It's called Viscera Cleanup Detail. Oh, you know what? That sounds pretty exciting. Let me get that up on the big screen. So have you played this game before? I haven't. I bought it over the winter sale, and I've been wanting to play it for a really long time for mm -hmm. some weird, dumb reason. Okay. And I, I've i played it a little bit. Um, I haven't played it a whole lot. But I remember being kind of surprised by it. It's really weird, right? Yeah, it's like... Uh, I, I I don't know. It, it's, it, it satisfies some sort of neatness or, like... Uh, like orderliness in my brain that I want to do. Yeah. That's words. Yep. Okay, so let's host this. Let's get in here. Let's start. What is the premise of this game? You're like cleaning up some sort of disaster area. Yes. Okay, I'm hosting. Um, wow, you are the... I mean, oh, I thought you were the only server, but it actually filters by default on friends. That's handy. Uh, the password is your name. Just your first name. Um, it's very dark. Okay, what does this say? Please swipe your card and pull the crank. I can't tell if it's... Oh, I'm loading. <gasps> Will, hi. Hi. Oh, wait. You have, like, a surprisingly realistic face. Yeah, you do, too. You look like, uh, BJ Blaskowitz. Oh, you look like BJ Blaskowitz. Okay, how do we take out our, our card? Okay. I... I don't... How do you do that? How do you take that thing out? I just scrolled. Oh. Wait, options. Controls. Key oh, bindings. Here it is. Objectives. Personal log. How'd you do it? No. Oh, no, you found your thingy. I don't know. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Okay, okay, wait, all right. <laughs> well, take the mic out of your mouth. The mic's in my mouth? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, no, oh, I just have my hand here. Yeah, but you, isn't that weird? Oh, I have to make a choice to exit. I don't want to exit. Um, chat, by the way, tell us how our sound levels are. Give me some paperwork. No, I'm not done yet. Okay, okay you know what? I'm just going to start cleaning. Make your choice to exit. Oh, this is to punch the button. Uh, oh, I got a bucket. Oh no, I want a bucket. This is my bucket, Ian. Get away from my bucket! I'm cleaning. Is there? Oh, there is a little bit of lag. Okay. All right, where are you clean? I'm gonna I'm gonna clean near the bucket. I'm gonna clean this room. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, what are you doing over there, buddy? I spilled the bucket. Okay. I'll take this bucket now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um. So the whole premise of this oh. game yes. is that, uh, like, some sort of hero has come through, killed a lot of things, and now we gotta clean up after him. I have now dumped two buckets of water in this room and cleaned up nothing. Oh, there's some definite lag. Wow. Yeah? Oh, Is there's... There? If you walk in blood, you get... F you're, you're getting your footprints everywhere, Will. Yeah, that's why we start farther out and we work our way back to the bucket machine. What? Ian. No, that sounds like the opposite of what you want to do. No, oh. you clean backwards. What? But then you have to walk through blood to get to the bucket machine. Yeah, but you're always walking back to the bucket machine. You never walk. I spilled it again. How are you supposed to do this? I don't know. I'm gonna go explore. This game already. All right. So other than this game, what have you? What else have you been playing this week, buddy? Uh, I've been playing. I played some Crash Bandicoot. The insane mm -hmm. trilogy. 
Oh, is that good? Uh, it's good. Uh, I never played Crash Bandicoot growing up, so it's fun to finally play those games, and I just want to, like, 100% it now. Um, I'm still slowly playing Hitman 2. I like to do all the mastery stuff. There's something very satisfying. I, I like completing things. Yeah. Um... Wait, so Crash, let's go back to Crash for a little bit. Is that, is, how is that feeling? Because I, I remember hearing a lot of complaints about it. Oh, it feels really good. The only, like, the only complaint I'm aware of is that they changed how the jump worked from the original game because... Yeah, I heard that too. Because of a technical limitation. Mm -hmm. Um, not because they, like, wanted to. Um, but as someone who didn't play the original game, it doesn't matter to me. It was mainly like people who quote unquote had muscle memory. They were like, oh, doesn't play the same way. I heard wow. um, people like saying that it adds like difficulty in a way because it's now harder with the new jump. Yeah, but again, I think that only applies to people who knew how the old jump worked. Oh, like, okay, I, they were I, used to it. I have no difficulty other than like I missed a jump just because I, I didn't know what like how to jump. Yeah. Oh, you know what that reminds me? I should probably put on Twitch what game we're playing. Twitch? We should probably do that. Twitch. 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 Playing. Twitch. Twitch. We should probably do that. Oops, a slight echo there. My apologies. Twitch. Twitch. Um, this way. What was the other game you said you were playing? Uh, Hitman Two. Uh, Hitman Two. I've been playing a lot. Um, I've I've been I playing like to, that too. The Mastery. Yeah, I'm on Wilton Creek. Um, which, which one is that? That's the like uh, Vermont, I think it is. Um, it's like the, the neighborhood. neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. I was about, man, you're <laughs> just so confused why you use like the formal name instead of like the most obvious way to describe it. <laughs> oh, that's what it's called. I don't even remember what it was called. <laughs> exactly, because you're terrible. Uh, what um, is this called? Subpixel cleanup? Yeah, subpixel cleanup. That's what we're doing. We're cleaning. Oops, that goes in there. Okay, we're playing Viscera cleanup detail. Try, I'm trying to think what else I've been playing. Uh, I'm back. I played a little bit of Below, but I wasn't that into it. Um, I started Undertale. I'm about like an hour into that. Undertale. Oh, Undertale's. My, like, Undertale's good. Yeah, my my goal this year is just to play a bunch of games. Uh, and finish a bunch of games. Um. Yeah, I think that's about it for what I've been playing. Slag is making this game much better than I think it actually is. <laughs> There's just a torso over here constantly rolling back and forth. Oh, I don't see it. Right there, do you see it? It just fell. I see this thing. You don't see a torso right holding. here? No, there's no torso. Ian, you're crazy. Oh my god, I'm so glad this is on. Oh! Oh. Well, oh. you just close, it, close that for some reason. Um, what have you been playing, Ian? Uh, so I've been playing Hitman 2. I I decided I want to at least finish the, the main story mission. So it's like one playthrough of each level because it's a good stream game and I just want to be prepared um, in case something happens we want to play Hitman 2 for that week. I don't want my first run through of the level to be on stream. I feel like that's a bad idea. Uh, um, I get what you mean. Yeah. What a load disposal bins. <gasps> I got a disposal bin. You got a disposal bin? What does that do? Can I burn this metal? It's just a trash can. Um, I've also been playing Detroit Beyond Human. Oh no. Why are uh, you doing that? I got it uh, via Gamefly. Gamefly's still around? Yes, they are. Um, I, I actually, did not know this. It's expensive. It's like $15, $16 a month for one game out at a time. But Jeez. I think it actually does save me money because I get to play games like Detroit Beyond Human, which I it's not that I don't want to pay money for it. It's that I don't know if I'm going to play it longer than five minutes. So... Uh... 
Oh my god, you just dumped over my... No, I'll fix it. No, no, no. Fine, fix it yourself. <laughs> um, so I, I just use it as a service to like try games. Like, uh, you ever played Wipeout? No. So I played it for about 10 minutes after I rented it from Gamefly and I was like, not for me. And then it immediately went back in the mail. Um, whereas if I tried it any other way, it would have been like, what, 20 bucks? to buy it used. Whoa. Probably. Sorry, I'm eating Doritos while uh, while we're uh, streaming here. You want some Mountain Dew? Go on. I got some in my uh, fridge I can give to you. I did have Taco Bell for dinner. Mmm, Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell in ages. So good. Wow, this lag is real bad. I'm not getting any lag. Okay. Well, I, I kind of stuck a piece of metal here that won't move. So, I may have doomed us all. Oh, that's what it says on the wall. It says we're all doomed. Which which piece of metal? Uh, this one right here. You don't see this piece of metal right here? Mm, this on one the right here? In front of the in front of the in front of the door? No. I just no, put I, I, I see that one that you're holding. I just put it out. Yep. Ow. You killed me. Oh. Do you respawn? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> oh, your corpse is not having a good time right now. How's chat doing, by the way? Uh, they're good. Colton uh, is having buggy internet. Uh, oh. And my brother uh, is saying he's watching two guys play a game live. What a world we live in. That's true. Sometimes I think about that. Um, oh, there you are. Uh, you ever listen to uh, Jeff Gerstmann from Giant Bomb when he does those live uh, live audio broadcasts while he's driving? Yes. It's just so strange. It's like I remember the first time I did it, they were road tripping to E3 and I was driving an hour somewhere and I was listening to it live and I was blown away by the concept. You know, it was like we're both on yeah. road trips, cr different sides of the country but we're still able to share that in a way, the car conversations. It's bonkers. That's funny. Uh, but like, I, I'm, I'm very much a podcast person. <gasps> I found a broom. Uh -oh, no, Man, I feel like this, is, this game is a really good concept. Not great execution. <laughs> what do you yeah. think? Oh, I spilled the bucket. Oh, look, I'm, I'm sweeping the floor. I love it. Just making it bloodier and bloodier. It's my favorite thing you do. Thanks, babe. Wait, this is the bloodiest level ever. Probably not a good idea. Oh, I found shotgun shells. Ian, remember when I thought this was going to be a good stream game? Yeah, um, remember that conversation I'm having in my head right now about whether to continue this or rapidly switch to a different game? <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember that. Um, remember when we played uh, Viscera Cleanup crew, crew, crew a bunch, and then uh, then we decided that technically playing Earth Defense Force is cleaning up. Yep. I think I did. Oh, damn it. This game, Alt F4 doesn't work in this game. I was going to say it crashed. Well, folks, uh, we're going to switch games real quick because this one's not a whole lot of fun. Let me this just game switch sucks. Here. But. Hi. I'm on full webcam now. So let me just exit out of this game. Let's boot up some Earth Defense Force real quick. Uh, Ian, question from uh, the chat here. One uh, Will Cr Cras oh, Cosby, <laughs> Bill Cosby here. He's yeah. wondering if he still needs to stream <laughs> his his Discord uh, to yes. his friends. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I've already Perfect. got set up. Might as well. Might as well. It just he wasn't sure uh, mm -hmm. because no one had said anything. I need to get my Xbox controller. So bye bye. Uh, special shout out to Bill Cosby. Good thing I turned my mic off while I'm walking around my room. Oh man, I just. Pardon me, folks. I'm going to go uh, 
blow my nose real quick. Do you think I should, uh, well, you can't hear me, can you? No. The dilemma I'm having is if I should blow my nose on stream or not. Okay, I'm back. Hey, Will, um, I'm going to blow my nose. Should I include the audio or not? Uh, of course. Yeah, I'm leaning towards yes. Okay, let me just roll over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I'm going dark real quick. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Here we go, boys. Um. Nice. I don't think I'm sick. I think it's just the cold. It's really, it's really cold for you as well, right? Yes. Yeah. Very cold. It was like zero yesterday. Yeah, I think ours were single digits yesterday. Fahrenheit, of course. I did not go outside. Okay. Oh, yours is yours is sixteen by nine, right? Yes. Okay, let me um, let me adjust it real quick. Why? What were you ready for? Uh, the ultra wide screen, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, that's how I was capturing viscera. Also, I keep wanting to call it visceral. Do you have that as well? Me too. Me I didn't know it was pronounced Viscera until uh, you asked me what game we were going to be playing. <laughs> okay. Boom. There we go. Picture in picture's working. Okay, you want to host? Ah, feels good to be back. I haven't played this since we played it last. Uh, same. I keep saying I'm going to play it. Actually, you know what? Um, I never have time to. I'm going to host because I have more missions than you. Unless unless okay. you want to host so we can unlock missions for you. No, you can you can host. I'm okay with that. Create a room. Two players, two players, two players, two players, two players. Make sure you turn off chat. Okay. Uh, let me just recreate my room. Okay. 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 So I unplugged my Xbox so I could resync my controller without my Xbox turning on. And I held the controller button down and my Xbox went Bleep! and it was not plugged in. Mm. Wait, did it fully turn on? No, but it made the noise. It also, insult to noise. injury, mm -hmm. dropped the um, uh, cable uh, behind the bookshelf so now I have to go fish it out after oh. okay. there's no easy way to resync a controller without turning on the dumb Xbox okay so I turned I'm changing this to hard and we're gonna do was it mission two is that what you said that is what she said okay mission two change my class to I want to try Fencer. Ooh, I can use... Whoa, I can use level my level 20 stuff now. Yeah, because I, I changed it to hard. Oh, I just realized. I wish I was uh, more actively paying attention to things you said. Oh. oh I can use my oh Goliath. My oh, boy. I think I... Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no. I should not have brought the tissues closer because now I'm just going to do that a lot. Boom, here we oh, go, baby. Ian, you have to see this rocket launcher I have. I'm excited. What are you playing as? Ranger? Ranger. I, yeah, I really like the Ranger. You ready for oh. this, Ian? Yeah, it's just an RPG. That's cool. Whoa! See that big building in the distance? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Dang, man, that's good. I think they, they do take damage if they're on the building when you collapse. 
Yeah. Yeah, this is a very good way to rank up this mission. At least I found it. There's probably a much better way to do it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, then the hearing. Yeah. Oh. I accidentally played a podcast. In case you're How wondering. How did you do that? I have a, I have a play shortcut on my... Oh, on mom my had to mouse. leave us. Hi, mom. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, I really like this game. <laughs> I wish I want to play five, but I also don't want to play it on a console. Yeah, I was thinking of, it has local multiplayer or local yeah. split screen. So I was thinking of getting it to play with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. or if you visit somebody. Oh, well, yeah, I don't think my grandma really wants to play it. No, oh, that's true. Yeah, she she liked the third one, but that was it. Yeah. She thought they got too gamey after that. You know, there's some sort of food joke in there somewhere. Yeah, I was right. thinking of it. I was gonna do like a venison thing. Yeah. Your shotgun's real good. Oh, I love this thing. I collect all this armor. Can't tell what the range is on my. Oh, you're hitting them. But I just hit them harder. That sounds really inappropriate. Uh, yes. <laughs> Ow, stop <laughs> hitting me. <laughs> hey, you're a you're big, like, Destiny fan, right? Yeah, I love Destiny. What do you think about that, that whole Bungie uh, Activision news? Uh, I'm kind of excited. Excited? Um, yeah, I feel like Bungie can do a lot. Uh, release. I'm not saying like Activision is to blame for all the crap that's come out. Yeah. But they were very much bogged down by the two-year deal and uh, per for each game and all that sort of stuff. So I think now that they're out from under like the existential stresses of Activision, I think they might be able to do something great yeah. for the rest of Destiny 2 and certainly Destiny 3. Because that's kind of what it it when I heard about that contract. I was flabbergasted in a way because it made no sense how you could advertise it as a 10-year game, but at the same time promise a sequel in two, three years, you know? Yeah, and apparently they really wanted to do a 10-year game. It was Activision who wanted physical games every year. Yeah. and I, every I mean, two I, years. I can't blame them because, you know, physical game is an easy way to get basically 50 to 70% of the fan base to fork up $60. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, it should be interesting to see what they do next. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little peeved by the the general coverage the media is giving it because a lot of them are kind of taking the line that, that you're not taking that you said you were explicitly not taking, which is that Activision is to blame for everything. And so p people are treating it like it's you know an abused child that's been finally rescued <laughs> from their parents. No, I, I, I don't think so. I think, yeah. I think the stresses of being under any company like that yeah. definitely add to, hey man, this story sucks, but we have to get this thing out. Yeah. Um, but certainly not, they're not solely to blame. It could be yeah. any company. Yeah, and exactly. It's still even, even in that circumstance, it's not Activision's fault. Yeah. And it feels, it feels kind of weird, but I, I feel like I take the position of the publisher gets blamed for way too much. There are absolutely instances in which the publisher is to blame, but there are plenty of bad game designers out there. Oh, you know, yeah. That make bad decisions. And there's plenty of uh, games that people find really good that the publisher might have made the correct decision on. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's just one of those things where people acting like all of a sudden Destiny's going to change drastically and it's going to be a lot better is... That is not given at all, you know? No, not at all. Honestly, I don't think it's going to change at all. Really? I, I, don't think, I, I, think, I think we'll see... I think there will be more... changes, but I don't think you can attribute any of those changes to self-publishing. True. Yeah. But I think they'll be able to listen to a lot more of the community and their own, like 
developers feedback now that they don't have to then bend all of those ideas to the ear of another like person yeah i mean remember this is still the same studio that did sparrow racing what two years in a row even though it was terrible both times listen sparrow racing's great i nope. do not know what you're talking about nope. um and it's just so i i don't know i don't know how i feel are we done oh we're uh, done we're yeah, this mission's so easy. You can just milk it. Oh, wait, no. I want this armor. Got nice. It. Oh, today's um, drink sponsor is Austin East Cider's Original Dry Cider. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. Damn, what is this? I got some crazy weapons. Um, let's just do uh, mission three. Same hard. Okay. Artillery. Heavy mortar. Okay. I think I'm going to keep. Oh, I got a sweet new sniper rifle. Okay. So I got double cannons. And then I got double mortars. Ooh, okay, so I got like a ricochet mortar and I've got like a heavy mortar. Hmm. Let's do one of each. I'm gonna try this sniper rifle out. Oh, I feel Boom. good. What else has happened in the news lately? Gaming related, of course. Um, Resident Evil 2 review embargo came up today. I'm so slow. I'm pumped. I'm real pumped. Pumped. I, I want to play it, but um, I, I don't know. It's probably not a surprise by now. We've been teasing it a little bit. But I will be playing Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, okay. next Tuesday. So... I kind of don't have time for anything else right now, you know? Yeah, but such an important game coming out. I have a rapid fire sniper oh, rifle right now. Do you see what I'm, I'm just firing? Like just... Uh, oh, yeah, you're, you're going pretty, pretty crazy with that thing. Oh, so good. These ants go so high in the air. Oh, I'm trying to take down this building. Nice. That's so good. Um, I played Resident Evil 1 in high school mm -hmm. on the GameCube. Uh, was it high school? Yeah, I want to say high school. And then I played... That's an, another game I really want to finish is Resident Evil 7. I just got it for Christmas. I had it on PC, or I borrowed it from a friend on PC. Um, and now I have it on Xbox One. So I think I'm going to start it over and play through it on Xbox One. But the before that... remake or, or the original? original? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Resident Evil 7. Oh, okay. But the uh, before I do that, I think I'm going to play... Six Resident is Evil 6 is the one with the giraffe, right? Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Seven is the latest one. Yes. Okay. I've, I've only ever beat one. I played a bunch of five. Oh my god, that ant went flying. Yeah, he really did. Dear Ants have a bad day. Oh, I think I just shot us. Yeah, I think you did too. They deserved it. Yeah, they did. They were idiots. Oh, this is just this is so good. Okay, all right, I'm gonna try to actually enjoy the fight now. Uh, but yeah, Resident Evil 2, I think I'm gonna buy it on, on Friday and play a bunch of it. Yeah, you have to let me know uh, how it is. Uh, because I'm definitely gonna play it at some point. I just uh, a little busy right now, you know? Yeah. I'm desperately looking for a 
Like, I, I love playing, uh, uh, Hitman 2 and Crash Bandicoot, but I'm looking for a game to, like, really focus in on. Oh my god. And, oh my gosh! I think, uh, Resident Evil 2 might be the hit of that for a little while. Yeah. Because I did what? finish, uh, Cobra Den. I 100%ed. Oh, you 100%ed? Because I, I didn't know apparently you can, like, I don't want to say speed through it, but there's a way to to get to a point where it just lets you finish the game even though you haven't completed the mystery, so to speak. Yeah, so I did that thinking it was telling me I yeah. was done. Maybe that was and you was like, who told me about that. I was like, oh, whoops. And after you do that, it actually gives you a clue. And then it's like, do you want to go back to the ship? And uh, I was like, oh, yeah. So I went back to the ship and like just re-went through most of the ones I was missing, and I actually found, like there are people who go missing, and I assumed it meant that they weren't anywhere, but you actually, like one of the guys who went missing, I found out which one he was last in, and then the one after that, you can see him fall off the boat, but it never mentions it. So I just labeled oh. him as like falling from the rigging, and then yeah. I got him right. And uh, it's really neat. Um, I'm excited to play it. It's definitely on my backlog. Yeah, the epilogue's really cool. Oh my god, um, there's so many dead ants in the air. God, this there's this one, there's so one good. of them uh, that makes you feel like the stupidest person ever. <laughs> um, and it is fantastic in in a good way, in a very good way. Not like a oh, what a bunch of dicks. Yeah. Um, or what a dick, the one guy who made the game. Um, but yeah, I really liked Overden. Um, if anyone wants to see the games uh, I played this year, uh, maybe I'll tweet it out after this. I have a list on GiantBomb.com on my profile, uh, Hunt 270, that are my game of the year, or games I've played in 2019. And then I have a super long list called Games I Should Probably Play. <laughs> Boy, this weapon is so good. Just all these ant bodies flying yeah, in Yeah, you are literally destroying these people. So, Ian, are, are you looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3? Uh, to complete the story? Actually, I should say, are you looking forward to looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 4? Mm. So, <laughs> so, I I know somebody who I was sitting with them during E3. What was it like 2010 or 2011? when Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced and they wouldn't stop screaming for like 10 minutes. Uh, was it like when they showed that Metroid Prime 4 teaser in that Nintendo store? It was kind of like 9-11, but like happy excitement. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was just like, you just said that. I was just like, what are you going bonkers about? I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts 3 again, not 9-11. Um, <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> I was just like, what? It was insane how, like, excited they were for it. And I just, I don't get it. It just looks, it looks like, it looks like a kickstarted fan fic movie. You know what I mean? Does that yes, make sense? Yes, I know exactly what you mean. Like, it's, it's got more production quality than you would expect, but it still looks, like, real bad. So, long story short, yes, I will be playing it. I know absolutely nothing about it. We may have a feature coming soon um, about my experience playing the game. Uh, so, I'm very much looking forward to that. Yeah. Look. Ow. Yep, I um, killed you. Um, in, uh, in other new- oh, you really did kill me. I didn't realize I was dead. <sighs> The thing was, I, th I thought I shot past you, but for some reason you took like a brunt of the damage. Oh, Ow. I just, yeah, okay, that time I definitely shot you. Um, in other news, uh, I found a bunch of really weird, cool games for scan lines. Oh, that's good. Um, I have been in contact with a uh, now friend of the, I'll call him a friend. No, we've emailed twice. Uh, Definitely friend of friend. the channel, uh, Zombiever, who uh, supplied some of the installation packages we've been playing. Man, um, we gotta find some health. Yeah, I'm literally looking for that. So he, uh, he recommended a... Uh, well, I initially emailed him just to thank him for his uh, conservation work. And he was like, oh, yeah, no problem, and here's a bunch of games you should check out. And I was nice. like, thanks. 
So I have them all open in tabs and I now have to download them and install them. Ooh, we got a new episode oh coming out Thursday. Goodness. Yes, yeah. we do have a new, uh... I see uh, health. Oh, I know what game is going out. <laughs> <laughs> I could say one word to tease it. <laughs> but I'm not going to. Uh, yes, that should be fun. That should be fun. Yeah, I, keep, oh, I forgot about that. Oh man, that game. You know, you were talking about spooky, spooky, scary games. I heard that uh, Resident Evil 2 remake is supposed to be really good as a scary game. Yeah, I, I like playing scary games. That's why I'm looking forward to... Uh, oh, I think we're done. I, I need to finish Soma, too. Oh, I need to play yeah. that again. Maybe I'll do more videos than that. Next time my girlfriend's over. Oh, yeah. Good job, buddy. I'm excited Thanks, to see bud. what weapons we got. I am too. Mm. I've also oh, been I got playing some goodies. a lot of Kerbal. It's just a good like sit down, waste five or six hours building stupid spacecraft type of game. Okay, let's see. Yes. We are going to return to that at some point, right? I think we mentioned that, that at some point, I believe, okay, let's be honest. Nobody watches this anyway, so we can go ahead and spoil all of it. I think the plan is <laughs> Subpixel Inc., the next mini arc of Subpixel Inc. is that we're going to have to build a spacecraft to get the two of us to Duna, right? Yeah, Subpixel, well, the branch of Subpixel Inc., Subpixel Aerospace. Yes, that's correct. We're going to Duna, and then once we are on the planet, the two of us, and we're stranded there, we then start a multiplayer Factorio server where our goal is to build a factory that can produce 100 cars per second to produce yes. our now proven intergalactic vehicle i think that's the plan right oh i got an automatic shotgun mm. Mm. oh i see my little picture at the bottom vulcan hammer and the oh, range that's the hammer i used to smash a lot yeah, okay, so I've got that, and then I'm just going to do dual heavy mortars, because that's the only way to go. Um, yeah, let's do this one. I think this is the one with the spiders. Oh, I hate spiders. Oh, apparently there's like a hundred missions in this game. Isn't that insane? My brother said he dropped a big Duna in the toilet earlier. <laughs> I love that our chat currently consists of my two brothers. That's that's pretty great. Oh, I hate that zoom in. Yeah, that was rough. I had shot I right that. when. Oh, hey, at least we're way more prepared for this one this time. I know. Come on. Come on. Um, I also know, uh, speaking of aerospace, Zach really wants to play Galacticraft. Oh, which Minecraft knockoff is that? That's Minecraft Galacticraft. So it is oh. part of Minecraft. It's where oh, you're wait, building rockets and going to different planets. Yeah, it's a um, mod. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, can we just I'm, shoot the buildings down? Oh, maybe not. I think that would just destroy the web. That's what okay. I want to do. Wait, you got to move out from in front of me, Goober. Fine, I'll go over here. I'll shoot this guy. I can't tell. Oh no! Let go of me. Which one's which one's got you? This one over here to the right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh he's dead. Oh, he yeah, exploded a lot. Is the, is the one to the left dead? Yeah, one to the left's dead. Yeah. I'm shooting this guy. Oh my god. Oh boy. Apparently, direct hits really hurt them. My 
my, my brother just said, what about the other brother? I only have two brothers. Is he talking about me? You're not my brother. Are you sure? Uh, fairly certain. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that was you. He's that was still going. You. Wait, can He's I hit him in midair? <laughs> oh wait, I, I have a shotgun for this. Oh, that was uh, so good. That was. That was really, really good. Okay. Oh. She just said this is the enemy's trap. It's not like some normal enemy. Is that one dead? Oh yeah, it's dead. Oh Nail yeah. It. Nice. This is, uh, this is a fun game. I like this. I love this game. What other news stories? Hey, uh, Randy Pitchford? You still a big yes. fan of him? Huge fan of the Huge pitch man. Fan. I don't... I... Uh, I just... I've heard he's really into water sports. Oh my god. No, I don't think that qualifies as water sports. Like, I'm pretty sure that's different. Oh, as... <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm not trying to get too specific, <laughs> but I believe it is different. No, 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 I understand. It's not... It's a different yeah, color. And I don't think it's urine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, um, Randy Pitchford uh, left <sighs> a USB drive? Yes. At with... America's greatest restaurant, Medieval Me Times. Yep. In Dallas. In uh, Dallas. With uh, questionable adult content on it. Oh, uh, is... no. Uh, 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 company secrets and, and questionable. Are they the same thing? Adult content. Are they the same thing? Maybe. Okay, wait, I got this guy. Excuse me. Oh, that yeah, poor he just took a is he dead yet? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he's very dead. Okay. I think we still have to blow up the uh, web to save the wing dire. Oh, dire. that's right, yeah. Wing, wing dire. Nailed it. We just shoot her until she's free. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, and instead of uh, Randy Pitchford saying, you know what, guys, sometimes people look at questionable adult things and mm -hmm. uh, enjoy them. Or even better, uh, no uh, comment. Or, or even better, no comment. He went to explain that this woman was so good at her particular talent that she must be a magician and he must know how she did it. Yeah, that's reasonable. Right? That's very reasonable. I just... The only reason I save porn videos. I mean, adult entertainment videos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I just... I... Uh... Oh, I just realized I can zoom in. Nice, right, so we got more enemies coming. Oh. Oh, there's a spider right here, Ian. I know, but he's like blocked by the building for me, so I can't shoot him. But we do have ants coming. Oh, we really do have ants coming. Piggledy piggledy! We knock all the buildings down, they can't get to us! Retarius? Ooh. He just named the new insect Retarius. Oh. Did you just How kill did yourself? that happen? I did. I don't think there was anything in front of me. Might have been a pole. Uh, Thanks, babe. I love instead of telling you what the button is, it says use the vehicle enter revive button. <laughs> you will use mouse and keyboard. You will use gamepad. Oh, did I hit you? No. Oh, Almost. Okay, we're coming, coming really close. Hold me closer. Uh, what's the axe called? Valkyrie axe? Vulcan hammer. Vulcan hammer. Oh, I literally walked into this guy's web. What's wrong? Oh, no. I'm in the process of walking into it. Okay. 
It's okay, I killed myself. Man, we need health bad. I'm, I have to get health before I get revived. Come on. Oh no. No, oh, no. Oh no. Let's try it again. What are we playing um, next week now that Viscera cleanup details are bust? Should we do? I, let's do. Let's do Kerbal. Kerbal next week? Mm hmm. I've been preparing for it. Inadvertently. I'm down. Oh, God, this poor spider. Oh. God, this oh, is so good. Okay, let's see. Where's the spider? Come here, spider. Come here, spider. Oh my god, you can hit the hammer into the air. Did you know about that? Really? This spider. Well, those webs are over here, though. Hmm. Oh, this guy's just dying on the radio. Okay. Retarius. What? What? Oh, oh my yeah. god. Some of the like collision detection on the debris is wonky. Like there was a building falling down next to me and I fired. And the collision model. It, okay. There's health straight ahead of us. Stuck as well. Yeah, I'm in the web. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Great. Yep. Hey, guess what we're gonna do for the rest of the stream? What? I want to. I want to show you some of my curval designs that we will not be using some of the rejected designs because they're actually pretty cool you do webcam full hi folks hi Damn how's it going you, you make me want to play it's so good curval it's now. so good it's so good okay so let's go properties just doing a little setup here okay let's go to the game here's curval <laughs> I'll just have you know um, I cannot see it. I should probably share it with you as well, right? Over Discord? Yeah, since I am not watching the stream. Turn on screen share. I'm sharing. I think you have to unshare. I have stopped sharing. Okay, can you see? No. Okay, let me share the full screen. Screen. Oh yeah, were you trying to share Kerbal? Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't like that. It never works. Okay, so let me pull up. Um, I believe this is the one. I'll show you some of my rejected designs. I actually have some pretty cool stuff that's working. Okay. Oh, uh, you might want to play Kerbal. It's so good. It's real good. Okay, so let's just go down. I have Albatross I 4. The worst part is, like, I can make some good Kerbal stuff, but I also had to be entertaining. Yeah, so you 
you're making up excuses as to why you failed. And so miserably. I kind of got, you know, I got saddled with the uh, Will's bad at this. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. All right, here we go. So I was trying to do like kind of like the Virgin America design for a little bit. Yeah. So you downloaded this? No, I made this. So you downloaded this? Nope. Oh, dear Lord. And it okay. says here on the Steam Workshop, this is by a uh, Tink Lipson. <laughs> um, uh, you know what? I hated that bit, but you made up for it with that fake name. That's a real good you. fake name. Okay. Oh, no, so this, is, this is the one that has a lot of fuel. But so I'm can... just curious why you're trying to steal his design. Oh, I'm, I, well, I mean, I, I put an extra part on it, so... It look like gotcha. Yeah. Is this like the uh, uh, Westworld mobile game? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good joke. Thanks. I just bring it back to news time. Okay. I gotta get up to speed a little bit more. So, this so the whole premise of this guy is that it's uh, you get him up to speed and then a high altitude and then you drop the rocket. So let's and then the see. rocket goes into the ocean? Uh, no, it's so you can, like, just kind of ignore the first stage. I think I'm messing up all the math right now, though. Because the ascent is actually kind of tricky. That's better. Because around... You see how his thrust is dropping because of the air intake isn't... It's not getting as much air. Um, right. So it's slowing down, but you see it's getting up there. Jeez, this is crazy. Yeah. See, I have gotten this guy to orbital height before. I'm not going to redo it because that's kind of... So basically, they kick off, and then you drop the orbital, and then you kick on the booster. Wow. Yeah. So not quite there, because I messed up the stages. But the idea being, you know, you can get here and... That's dope. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and I have I have gotten it working before. Oh, I didn't set up sure. action groups on this guy. I thought I was warping to next maneuver. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't want to warp me. Because I'm too close to it. too low. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let me just get this guy close and then we'll... I'm very much into this. I have obtained a stable orbit with this guy, but the problem is it's just kind of a novelty to get him there. Even with the early first phase. Yeah. So... It's more of a proof of concept than something that's actually usable. But you see, I think... Actually, you know what? I think we're still... We're at 69. What's the, what's the lowest? Uh, I usually do about 72. But I think 68's the lowest. 68? I think so. I think I'm at stable. Well, I have a little bit of atmosphere. But yeah, so I'm at 68 right now. So you Maybe see it does 65? work. Maybe 65? There's a, there's a touch of atmosphere. Here, let me see if that's changing. I am scraping the atmosphere right now. Scraping the atmosphere. So yes, yeah, so that was one design. Okay, so let's go back. Let me show you some other failed designs. Um, albatross, albatross. Jiggity jig. trying to remember oh there's this goober this goober's good that's a tiny little goober so then my premise with this guy was to see to see if i could launch into orbit with the smallest possible rocket okay you ready do it do it oh no wait i remember what i did Pardon me, uh -oh, one Ian second. Karen's here. 
Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Okay, here we go. Um, I was trying to make a like a VTOL, but then I, I thought this was funnier. Look at the little baby go. Let's see how far he gets up. Oh, you got your little one. I love the <laughs> <laughs> little tiny go. I can't accelerate under. Oh, I can. Well, hi, Gabriel. Oh, look at him go. Um, he's about to run out. No, wait. Where's his parachute in? Oh, I don't. I don't let them live. Yeah. Oh, look, I got him up to sixteen thousand. Wow. You should yeah. have four of them together and have a, just a chair in the middle. <laughs> well, so I started building them bigger, but then it, it like quickly hit the point of like diminishing returns in terms of how efficient like you it and was. your content. Wow. Okay. So here <laughs> is, I believe I built this. Yeah. This is Holy the pelican. Holy This is okay. What's let me wrong just make with sure. you? Yeah. Okay. So, so You're this the, the premise. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna the fly. The premise. It. Shut up. <laughs> no, there the is, premise. There I is hate a you. premise. There is a premise. I legitimately hate you. <laughs> it is. It is. No. No. Shut no, up. It is. Just, yeah, I'm, not no. gonna, I'm not gonna. I, oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna explain it until it happens. Um, it's really oh, good. The premise. You and your English <laughs> language. Ugh. <laughs> You oh, no. oh wait, I forgot. This guy's like really wonky. Uh, oh, is that the premise? <laughs> <laughs> the premise is to be wonky. I do remember this that he doesn't take off There's until so much fuel <laughs> until the ground runs out. Uh, uh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Let's just fly to Duna. I know. I was thinking about that. Okay. So the boosters are done. Okay. This is so dumb. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I hate <laughs> you. Okay. So the no premise. More stream. <laughs> you say that word one more time. I will cut you. <laughs> but you see, it's not very efficient. Oh, um, not very efficient. Okay. So let <laughs> me kill. So the premise is that I stop <laughs> saying it. Instead of having me. instead of having the rocket attached at the bottom and it drops from the spaceship, you just have the rocket be the plane like this. You see what I mean? It's a submarine now. Well, yeah, it didn't work, but the idea is once you get high enough, you just ditch the wings and turn into a spaceship. I still think it can work. I think it can work. Uh, Alexander, I, there's no premise joke. I just couldn't believe he built this <laughs> stupid thing and then had the audacity to say, well, the premise is that, uh, <laughs> that uh, the middle is actually the rocket. I just oh, hate Ian. So here's the smaller version of the same thing. And if I'm oh, not what's the this, premise on this one, uh, the premise is that the airplane turns into a spaceship. Hey, for next week's stream, can this just be a uh, compilation of all the times we say premise? No. Oh. Oh, look at it. It's so good looking, though. I think this... Oh, no. I forgot about this. It's very unstable. Oh, there we go. Can you shut your mouth, Alexander? There we go. Yeah, this one performs much better. What's the guy's name? Rawfrey Kerman? Rawfrey. <laughs> it is indeed Rawfrey. Okay, you can use the word premise now. Rawfrey's in the <laughs> in the pilot seat. <laughs> okay. It, that, so it's you know how when you're flying a rocket, it's you go up, you don't go over 200 meters per second until after 10,000 meters, and then you tilt to what like 45 degrees yeah so this this is more complicated than that i haven't figured out what the curve is and the curve changes per aircraft as in you you don't want to 
you don't want to pull up too early when you're going slow because then you're going to screw up too much speed because of the angle of ascent. But if you pull up when you're going, if you wait too long and you're going like a thousand meters per second and you pull up, then your wings are going to come off because of the um, the speed G-force. you're going. No, it's it's more that you're going a thousand meters relative to the ground, and then you pull up and all of a sudden your wings get sheared off. Oh, I get you. Yeah. Okay. Man, so you're here like we a go. rising phoenix right now. Oh, you were the rocket the whole time. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. It's actually see? pretty cool. I know, right? Ooh, there we go. I still hate you. No, you don't. Okay, this one's gonna get to orbit. Shoot, that's not good. Okay. Oh, I never even put my landing gear down or up. And then I think I, yep, there uh, we go. We've successfully played three games on this stream. It's pretty great, isn't it? Okay, so let me just let me get this guy to orbit real quick. So you see, all these are pretty cool ideas, but they're just like... I don't think they're feasible for Duna, you know? Yeah. So maybe next week is... And I want to be clear. I think all we have to do is just get two Kerbals to Duna. That's it, right? Because Factorio starts with you stranded on the planet. Yes. Yeah. So I think we are perfectly okay with that. I'm into it. Yeah. Oh, man. You know, I just want to play Factorio now. I know, right? It's such a good game. I love Factorio. And just to be clear, I've said that phrase multiple times now. We're going to be playing Factorio co-op, right? Over multiplayer? Yes. Yeah, and I think... That's the premise. I don't want to stream it for three years, so we'll, we're allowed to play on the server by ourselves off stream. It's just that right. each week we check in and see how we're doing. Yeah, and that game, since we know it really well, unlike Viscera Cleanup Detail, we can do uh, more of a news-ish show while playing. Yes, yes, we can chat, and we can show off a little bit. I think we can do things like, hey, you do oil processing and I'll do the trains, and then we show it off to each other. You know what I mean? I mean, you mean I'll do the trains and you do the oil process? Actually, yeah, I'm okay with that. I can do oil processing. Okay, so that guy gets to orbit. Train empires? <gasps> so let's just see, before we close out the stream, if I have any other bonkers guys in here. Phoenix. Ian, what if we fly to different planets after that, and then it becomes planetary annihilation, and we have to fight each other and shoot asteroids at each other? I don't get it. There's a game called Planetary Annihilation, and you're big robots, and you can put you can build giant engines on. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you can build you can build giant engines on asteroids and fly them at your enemies. Yes, planets. I I tried to play that game and I kind of enjoyed it, but I didn't like it as much as Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Never played it. Where's my cheats? Infinite propellant. Okay, there we go. Okay, you ready? Uh, I don't know what happened to my chat window. I seem to have uh, gotten rid of it. Oh, no. This is awesome. He's super slow, and you have to turn on infinite propellant for it to work properly. But it, I so think it you works. So you show yours when he shows his. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. what? Oh, that's yes. what Alexander said. Yes, that's yes. correct. We will be seeing each other soon. Actually, Ian and I might, yeah, we'll be seeing each other next month. Yeah, um, we're currently looking for ideas of what to do in person, like what to shoot, what games to play. Um, it's actually Besides harder. The bedroom block. Yes, it's harder than I thought it would be to come up with games that would be good for us to play on the couch. Yeah, I, I wrote a few on the list. Uh, I did a couple searches in game databases with uh, average score minimum uh, zero stars mm -hmm. and uh, had to have local co-op or local multiplayer. Is there actually a database you can do that search? Because that would be really, really handy. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, I will send it to you. Yes. Is it just yeah. open critic? Uh, no, it's called giantbomb.com. Oh, you can do searches like that? You can do super complicated searches on there. Oh my God. That's what awesome. do you think I do at work all day? Nothing. 
<gasps> Look, the Star Destroyer even has a little cargo bay. Well, no, hangar. I have thing. I just have to. Uh, I I surf the internet a lot. Uh, not really surf. I like look at Dwarf Fortress stuff and video games. Like I categorize video games uh, while things are rendering. So. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I think the last thing we need to do is just. Karen says Mario Party. Yes, we're already planning on doing Mario Party. Karen, you have do you have Mario Party or you don't have Mario Party? Uh, the new one. Yeah, I do not have the new one, but I'll probably just buy it. Yeah, or I could buy it. Uh, you probably will need to bring your controllers, though. Yeah, I was I was gonna bring my Switch and Switch. my two Joy Cons and probably, my Pro controller. Probably don't need to bring the Switch if you don't want to. I mean, I want to just because. I want to. Do you want me to bring GameCube controllers for Smash? Uh, I don't have the adapter. I have the adapter. <gasps> yeah, we can do that. Although we may not have a lot of time to play this trip. Eh, but we'll see. That's true. But eventually. Yeah. I got all my GoPro accessories lined up. It's going to be very exciting for this dock shoot. Yes, I'm, I'm very excited. excited. Um, um, this um, end of the stream crash is taking much longer than I thought it would. Yeah, it really is. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. Dwarf Fort. No, Dwarf Fortress, Alexander. It is a complicated, highly sophisticated dwarven game that uh, I um, have a oh, difficult Lord. relationship with. Um, Ian? <laughs> yes? The screen uh, has seemed to have paused on my end. Um, it's paused on my end as well. Uh, I got the... It says uh, zero, zero. Oh! No, now it's two meters. Mm -hmm. Now it's two meters. Oh! It's still two meters. Oh, I caught up. Wow. Well... Uh, folks, I think that's going to do it for us here folks, at Subpixel. Folks, folks, that's that's going to do it. Folks, here. Uh, folks, uh, Will Crosby, thank you for joining us. How many games did we play this stream? Three. Well, I'm dating you, Karen. Um, what did you say? We played three games this stream. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, three, three is a good number. So, um, uh, if people want to get more of you in their life, how can they do that? Uh, I'm in a committed relationship, Ian. Okay. Um, and they can find me on Twitter at <laughs> Think Gibson. Uh, and you can find all of our Subpixel content at subpixelfilms.com. Here's a little bit of an inside detail. Subpixelfilms.com just takes you right to our YouTube channel. Easiest way to get there. You can see all of our videos. If you want to see our social media posts where we post about new content, new streams uh, before, they're, before they come out, such as this stream, we talked about it all day on our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Subpixel Team. Um, Will, are you sure we can't find you anywhere? Uh, you can find me, uh, you know, you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I don't have a good sign-off either. No, Bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs>